One of the things that's so powerful about the law of assumption and what Neville Goddard was teaching us about falling asleep, imagining and visualizing or affirming or scripting, you know, while you're while right before you're going to sleep at night and then impressing the subconscious mind with a new version of yourself or a new concept of yourself is that that's exactly what you're going to get. And you will get that if you pro if you do it properly and you fall asleep imaging and feeling this new concept of yourself, but who are you now? But what is the version of yourself now and how far are you taking it? What is it, who is this new concept of yourself that you're trying to create? Because like what I did, I was an undisciplined person. I was an unfocused person. I was someone who didn't have any integrity and was selfish. I didn't have the ability to focus. I didn't have social skills. I didn't have skills and discipline that, that would require the new concept or version of myself that I was trying to create. The person that I was falling asleep with had all of these qualities, but I didn't possess them as I was, you know, before I was imagining that all of this had already taken place. So when I assumed I was somebody that had all these things, the subconscious mind was impressed with that. But then it calculated. It starts calculating what needs to happen in my life in order for that to happen. For me to become this person that I'm falling asleep with, what do I need to go through? So it created events to happen in my life that made me uncomfortable, that put me in positions where I had to be disciplined to take everything from me, all instant gratification, and to show me what I needed to do in order to become that person. And then now I am that person. And why I think that's so powerful with the law of assumption, what Neville Goddard was teaching is because anyone can do this. No matter who, where you are in life right now, you may be undisciplined, you may be a drug addict, you may be an alcoholic, you may have all of these issues in your life, but you have the ability now, if you wanna change that, if you wanna become a new person, all you have to do is visualize this or, or find this feeling, whether that's through affirmation or scripting or visualizing and imaging, finding this feeling of this person and just imagining what you would feel like if you were now this person that you want to be. You are that person now that is disciplined, that has the car you want, the relationship you want, the house that you want, has all of these things. And all you have to do is find that feeling and then Imagine it, feel it before you go to sleep at night and keep doing that and impress the subconscious mind with that. And then the subconscious mind gonna, is going to be tricked at that point. It's going to be like, okay, so this person is now this great and higher level of himself all of a sudden, So, but we got to get him there. So how are we going to do that? So something's going to happen in your life that you're probably going to have to go through some trauma, some events that are going to make you uncomfortable. But it's going to force you to do these things. It's going to find ways and means to do that, to create this new version of yourself that can accomplish anything or whatever you're trying to create, whatever conception that is of this new person that you want to be. And that's really the magic of the law of assumption and what Neville Goddard was teaching about falling asleep with your new ideal version of yourself, the person that you want to be. And then it'll be created into your world. And there are going to be certain events that are going to happen. Maybe not all of them are going to be traumatic and horrible, but it depends on who you are right now and who you're imagining yourself to be. And you just let that, these things happen and just impress a subconscious mind. And then you're going to go through everything that you need to go through in order to become that, become that successful person that you want to become. Because if you're imagining yourself to be different, that means you're not happy in that state and you're trying to change that so it shouldn't matter to you what you have to go through in order to be happy even falling asleep happy if right now you're not happy with your life and things aren't going the way that you want them to go visualize a firm script create this feeling that you're happy now that you're living the life and walk through actually specifically walk through just maybe 30 minutes of that day in your imagination what you would be doing, how would you be feeling, who is this person, and act as if you are now that person, and you're responding to your world now as being that person. And then once you get that feeling, after visualizing and imagining this just for a few minutes, 
creating this feeling, you take it back with you to now, and then you take that feeling, you gather that feeling, and then create a little movie clip, your own little movie clip, and then you replay that in your mind over and over as you're falling asleep every night. And then you're absolutely going to get exactly what you fell asleep with. Whatever version that was that you're falling asleep with, and you actually do it, and you actually are disciplined, and you force yourself to do this. You force yourself to fall asleep with this new version. The subconscious mind is going to work out the means for you to become this person. Whatever that is, if you're just falling asleep being happy, there's going to be a lot of events that are going to come into your life. Like me, that was one of the things that I did. And I made sure that I was, I was feeling fulfilled and happy and complete and content. So then the subconscious mind said, okay, well, you're not grateful for everything in your life right now. And no matter what you get, you're not grateful for it. So we're going to go ahead and take everything from you. You're going to hit rock bottom then. And then you're going to have to figure out how to be happy with nothing. Because if you can figure out how to be happy with nothing, the higher you go, the more appreciation you'll still have for that experience. And that's another one of the topics that I wanted to get into in this video. And that is appreciating the traumas that you've been through. The bad things from your past are not really bad things unless you view them that way. If you view them as in the victim mentality, then they're going to continue to be recreated into your world. But if you're viewing your obstacles and the traumas that have happened to you in the past as growth and opportunity to grow, then you will succeed in any venture. Then you're going to look at your world completely different and you're going to use that to be able to control your emotions and control your intellect in order to get to that next level. Because if you can control your emotions, now that you've been through all of these emotional disturbances, now you've built up resistance for it. So now when you go through your ventures and your success in the future, your businesses and, and the money that you want to make and the career that you want to have, and now you're going to be able to use all of those traumas, all of those obstacles, all of those so-called bad things that have happened to you in the past are now going to build up your character and your conception of yourself for resilience. So now you can have another traumatic event that happens to you, but it's not going to affect you because you've already been through so much trauma in your past and so many obstacles. Now these other obstacles and traumas that are trying to affect you now are not going to be able to do that because you've been through that. You've done that. And now you're changing your views on that. So when you change your conception of yourself now, the subconscious mind can also reprogram this thinking because I call this backwards thinking. Because most people, they look at their past as, as the victim. They're always blaming and be like, oh, my, you know, my parents did this to me or this happened to me because of this person. Or it's the, the judge's fault or it's the prosecutor's fault or it's, or it's this person's fault. They never accept responsibility for the things that are happening to them and actually use them for their future success. So when you can change this thinking, flip it around, do a 180 with the thinking, the thinking process, and look at the traumas and look at the things that have happened to you with this frame of mind, it will absolutely transform your life if you use it in the right way by, by flipping this backwards thinking around and start thinking properly. Because if you think about it, no matter what's happened to you, whether it was your fault or not, maybe there's things that really aren't your fault. You can't view them in that, that aspect. You have to think, well, that person got it from someone else. Like if I, for instance, wanted to blame my father for something, like the way that he always gave me alcohol or he, he told me that I don't need to go to school, that he, you know, he needed me at work, so you got to drop out of school because I need you at work. The things that happened that he did to me were caused by someone else that did that to him. And then someone did that to him. And then my grandfather, then his great-grandfather, whoever it was, somebody did that to him. So there's, it never ends, okay? So there's no one to blame. You can't blame this person because someone else did it to them or someone did something to them that caused them to do that to you. So that if you, you're going to keep following that and following that, and why would you waste your energy on that? Use that and change the sequence, change it from reoccurring now. That's all you can do now is, is change this and not do the same thing that they did to you. Don't look at the cause. 
Look at the effect and how you can change that effect now from the cause and the effect. So now you've recognized that and you've changed your thinking from this backwards thinking and using the traumas, using these things now, not to recreate that same thing for somebody else, but now use that for your own success and helping people and teaching people this and showing people that there's another way and not just blame and being the victim, but actually using this opportunity, these traumas for your greatest good, for the, for the greatest good of the world and creating the things that you want to create. So this is one of the most powerful shifts you can make with your concept of yourself is by changing this thinking, by changing this thinking from your past and the obstacles and the traumas and all the bad things that have happened to you in the past and viewing those things as good things and opportunities to build your resilience. All those things are happening because you're going to be successful now. You're going to use all those things. And then now, if you have more trauma come into your life, you're not going to be thrown off by those things because you've been through so much. So you're using those as strength within you. That is your strength. So everything that's happened to you in the past that, that is bad or trauma, that's your strength for your success in the future. You can even go back in history and look at all the very successful men and women. And if you look at their past, most of them have been through traumatic things. Their entire childhood has been traumatic. They've had something that has happened to them that has been very devastating. If you look at it, if you examine all of the successful people in history, you will see that most of them, if not all of them, have been through obstacles and traumatic events. And if you even were to go talk to them, they will attribute that success and those obstacles to their success. And they will tell you that is the reason why they are so successful because those things have happened to them. So start changing your mind, start changing the way that you think about, your, about the obstacles and traumas that you've had. Don't let those things be blocking you from your manifestations and the, and the person that you wanna become and the things you wanna have. Don't look at them as, as the victim anymore because you're not the victim. Those things were there to assist you in your success. So start using them for that. And if you're still watching this video up to this point, then you've probably already impressed the subconscious mind with finding the knowledge to changing this mindset and start viewing this new mindset. So these things are being brought to you to show you now just to give you that perspective of that shift in the mind to start viewing your past differently and giving you this awareness of now looking at your obstacles and the traumas as actually a stepping stone to your success and your future accomplishments because this is the traumas from your past are your superpower that's the way i look at my prison sentence everything i went through in prison that has developed me to the point where that is actually my superpower now and that's the way i look at it because the way that i was able to change my concept of myself and change the way that i view the world and when you start viewing the world differently the world will start viewing you differently and then you'll be able to manifest anything you want in accordance with that view that the world has of you because now you've shifted you've shifted your reality to a completely different conception so now you're going to have a completely different life and you're going to be shifted now you're going to be into a different parallel reality where difficulties and obstacles are now going to be simple for you and you're going to want to do them you're actually going to enjoy doing hard things because that's your new version of yourself and that's the world the world is going to view you with this new version so now that you can accept all of these things and change your thinking and your concept of yourself, now you're going to be able to manifest all these things and the, and the world, the universe, and the subconscious mind are now going to open up all these doors for you to walk through because now you have that ability to do that. And if you're watching this video and you're wanting to change your conception of yourself, I'm going to post a card to a very popular meditation it's actually the exercise that I used myself to become the new version of myself, to become the new concept of myself that now I can create anything that I want and I'm focused and I'm visualized and I look at my past as my superpower, the obstacles and the traumas. And now it's time for you to find your superpower. So click on that meditation on the screen and follow the instructions and do that every single night as you're falling asleep and allow this meditation to impress the subconscious mind 
and follow the instructions and visualize and feel exactly what is outlined for you in that meditation and fall asleep and press the subconscious mind with this new version of yourself, the successful version of yourself, and then allow it to happen. Whatever you need to go through in order to get there, maybe it's something simple, maybe it's something difficult, maybe it's more obstacles. Maybe it's something that's gonna develop you a little bit further to become that person. But whatever it is, just know it's for your greatest good and allow it to happen. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.